Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today, I got a bunch of stuff in front of me because we want to talk about what is RDM? Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. And how does it affect you and your lighting? Let's dive in. If we go to the dictionary, at least the lighting dictionary, RDM stands for Remote Device Management. And it's kind of what it sounds like, okay? It's a way for things like lighting consoles, like this NX1 I have here, handheld devices, network devices, etc., to be able to talk back to fixtures. So if you're new to DMX or you're new to lighting, uh, you may or may not be familiar that when DMX leaves a lighting console or software like this Onyx NX1 and goes to lights, it's a one-way deal most of the time. The, it's what we call broadcast, where uh, as long as the light's plugged into the console, the console sends out all the data and the light listens only to what it's supposed to, what it's set to as its address and, and channel mode. Okay, but RDM is something that's been actually part of the DMX standard for a really long time. But I would say we only really started to see it come into lighting a lot, probably in the, the early 20 teens, okay? Um, and what it is, again, is just a way for consoles and handheld devices to talk to fixtures. I think the best way to understand what's going on is to demonstrate it. So first things first, I've got here, this is a handheld device called the City Theatrical DMX Cat. It's a Bluetooth device that has an app, and we've reviewed it. We can check that video out here. For more on that, you can see screenshots, etc. For a quick demo, we just grab the DMX cat, grab the DMX plug that we've got these three fixtures in. This is a Gamma LED Vision uh, Borealis XL. This is a PAR, uh, the Starburst PAR from Gamma. And actually, now that I think about it, this one does not have RDM, good for the example. And then we've got a Elation Fuse profile okay all great fixtures what we're gonna do is just open up DMX cat it tells me to open up my settings to connect I know you can't see the screen here so I'll go to settings boom it shows my saved device and now I'm connected okay I'm going to ignore the firmware updates and go to RDM controller and now it's gonna go in here and I'm going to be able to see any fixtures that are detected, okay? So in this case, uh, the fuse profile is the first one that I'm seeing from Elation. Any fixtures that don't have RDM uh, are, are not going to be detected, okay? So like this guy, like I said, um, the production models of it do have RDM, but this one is a pre-production model, does not. So if I'm setting up, I can go along, plug in this device, and then hit this little light bulb in this case, and now this fuse profile is flashing. You might not be able to see that because it's hitting the ground. Then, for example, with the DMX cat, I can click into the RDM, and now I have the ability to change the name, change the DMX address, change the DMX profile. All of it completely remotely. Not only that, but RDM allows me to, within all my fixtures, go and look at serial numbers, um, and I can also see things called status and sensors. So is the light displaying error messages, etc. Sensors are going to tell me about temperatures inside of it. I'm seeing here the amount of device hours, um, etc., etc. I can set pretty much the way I like to describe it is through RDM, you can pretty much set anything you would go into on the menu of this fixture and set up. Let's do a demo of how RDM works from a console. <laughs> So I'm here in Onyx, I'm going to plug in the fixture, go into my patch, go into RDM, hit scan in this case of Onyx. I know you can't see this, but uh, we could probably superimpose something later, okay? Then I see the fuse profile. Say I need to change the address. I could just click right here in the address field and say I want it to be at 25, boo, it's at 25. The console says it's on Universe 1 because that's where I plugged it in. And now I just readdressed that light to 25. It was at 1. Now I can actually go ahead and patch one of those fixtures. Now, 
Every console is going to be different in how it handles RDM. Some allow you to just import directly, um, etc. Um, with Onyx as of right now, um, you're not going to see that, but, but it's something that I would love to see in the future, I believe. Yeah. But I can still hit this guy. I can identify it so it's flashing. Boom. Now I'm in my patch. I can go ahead, grab a new fixture. Elation, what did I say it is? It's a fuse profile. Fuse profile. My mode, I believe I'm in CMY extended or extended. We better look. <laughs> Which RDM could tell me this, but of course I'm I'm out of RDM. Okay. Yep. Yep. DM CMY extended, I believe. Yep. Boom. Auto patch. This is where I'm gonna set my address. Again, I wish Onyx had that auto import, but I don't think it matters that much. Um, apply. Once it patches, the fixture will home. And just like that, now I can turn it on. I was able to take a fixture that was in my rig, okay, and control it, right? And, and go ahead and, you know, move that fixture around. It's not in a great spot for you guys to see it. There we go. Go over here. I've got that fixture, I've got control of it, I'm able to move it around, I'm able to do everything I'd want to with it. Change the color, etc. And so that's where RDM, uh, the practicality, really hits the road. Obviously this was pretty technical up until this point, this tutorial. Um, but this is where the rubber hits the road. Is It's like, okay. So you've got a small gig and you've got some labor, some people helping you out, and they may not know much about lighting or DMX. You can go with a handheld device like this or even a console like this and walk and just tell your labor, tell your folks, hey, set out the lights. You know, I need six of these here, five of those there, whatever, whatever, whatever. Even if they're lighting people, even if they're stagehands, it just saves a step. Plug in a handheld device or a console like this, hit identify, see what the fixture lights up, Set it to the address it's supposed to be at. Move to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Okay. Um, in the future, too, with RDM, I think we'll see more and more of this stuff. Um, it's a helpful tool if you're in a permanent installation and you need to check error messages on a light or change something about it. If that light's 30 feet in the air and you want to change the mode, you can do it without getting up there. And so those are really the keys on how RDM works and how you can use it in order to make great lighting at the end of the day it's another tool uh, especially if you set up and tear down a lot that can save you time save you frustration and make your life easier i know this guy the dmx cat i bought it when it first came out um, this guy has just saved me so many times it has been such a useful tool where you know something's in the air it's a dress wrong boom i can hit it with rdm change it something had to go up in the air in order to meet a timeline before i could test it boom i can identify it I can watch it flash, I can set the address in mode, all of it from a handheld device or a console, nice and simple. So, if that sounds cool to you, uh, be sure to check out the DMX cat from City Theatrical. Um, we don't even have it on Lawrence Stage Lighting Gear, we probably could get it, um, but regardless, it's such an amazing device and RDM as a whole is just, you know, something that you're going to see in a lot of fixtures. Um, it's not in every fixture. You know, it's more often not in DJ line fixtures, but in more pro line fixtures from a lot of manufacturers. Um, but if you do have fixtures that have it, it can be a huge time saver, a huge frustration saver, and, and really make it so that you can create great lighting. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Now, if you are new to lighting, I got two things for you. Number one, over at LearnStageLighting.com, we've got a free guide that's going to help you get started with lighting no matter what type of lighting you do. It is geared towards what you're doing. Specifically, number two, if you're in the U.S. and you need to buy lighting, we are your experts. And we would love to help you. Uh, not only do we have most of the major brands available, but you can reach out to us, let us know what you're doing, ask for some recommendations. We love recommending lights to people, and oftentimes, what we recommend might be maybe a different fixture at the same price point as what you were considering that'll do the job better for you. Or it might be a, a fixture at a lower price point that does the job even better than what you were thinking. At the end of the day, we love to help people. 
We know you need to buy your lights somewhere and we want to be the most helpful and useful place to do it so that we can earn your business forever. If that sounds good, head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks.